Before we get into this video, I just want to say that right now, Ryan and I, we are currently in the process of moving out and moving into our new apartment. That being said, I had no time to film a video this week and I posted to my Instagram story asking you guys if I should just miss a week or just put together a video of a bunch of footage that has never been seen on YouTube before. And of course, you guys still wanted a video. So that's exactly what this video is. I'm not proud of this video. It is by far not my favorite video at all. There's a reason all these clips that I'm about to show you guys did not make it in the vlog. But before we get into that, as you guys know, the last four videos on YouTube have all been completely demonetized. Ever since I made that woman joke during stand-up, YouTube has swiped away my monetization, meaning that we are making no money. Thankfully though, I do have a sponsor. Well, summer break's almost over and we all know what that means. Back to school. Fortunately for me, I graduated so I don't have to go back to school, but when I was in school, I would never pay attention. And for the people that are watching this that also don't pay attention and you want a good way to pass some time while you're in class, look no more. Now, when I was in school, there was only two ways I'd pass time. One, stare at my teacher's titties until I got written up and got detention. Or two, play Raid Shadow Legends. For those that don't know about Raid, let me tell you all about it. It's a completely free game, but don't get it twisted. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's easy. You can play on casual mode, or you can get a good challenge in and play the best champions. Raid has over 80 million downloads and over 700 unique champions to collect from different factions. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Now you might be asking me, Jacob, what makes Raid Shadow Legends better than staring at your teacher's calcium cannons. Let me tell you my favorite three things about Raid Shadow Legends that my divorced 45 year old teacher back in pre-K didn't have. Raid has billions of ways to customize and build up your champions. So that way not everyone's has to look the same. Raid updates the game monthly so the game stays fresh and unique to play. This game's so addicting I feel like by the next week I'll have the whole thing completed. As well as that, the champions, the guns, the graphics, it looks sick and it makes my pee pee hard. So if you guys are looking for a good way to pass some time and get a good challenge in while you're in class, feel free to click the link that is pinned at the top of the comment section. They just added a fearsome new boss, Akimari the Phantom Shogun. Trust me, this thing's badass. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, but if you guys sign up using my link or scan this QR code, you'll get insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion, Talia. It's way better than my teacher's calcium cannons. Download it today. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try and find my old teacher's Facebook to see those calcium cannons one last time. Not a very fortunate start to the morning. My dad called me, first off. I guess somehow one of our neighbors found a dildo in their lawn. Like, they didn't even find it. They got two little kids. They have two little kids and one of their kids found it. So my dad wants me to go over there and apologize to him. To make things worse, these neighbors already hate me. A while ago, I didn't get it on film or anything. Chainsaw, I don't know if you guys remember Chainsaw. He domed their fucking house with a firework and their kids were outside too and I already got yelled at for that. I, I was trying to avoid them at all costs but then one of my Amazon packages got delivered at their house so I had to ring their doorbell and be like, hey, do you have my package? And they're like, dude, didn't you fucking hit our house? You should have came over and talked to us. But it wasn't my fault, man, you know? I didn't mean to almost blow your kid's head off. When is my dad going over to your house? He should be here in the next half hour. Apparently my neighbors found a dildo in their lawn, so now my dad <laughs> wants me to go apologize to them, which is fine. You know, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna hold my head high. I'm gonna just be like, that's my bad. Like, I thought you guys had a dog, like if you guys wanted a chew toy for it or something, like, I'm, I'm gonna just come up with something. A very elaborate, good apology, act like a gentleman. So he's, he's still at your house? Yeah, I just drove past. I just can't deal with the repercussions. You, you know how he gets. He gets a little upset sometimes. That's your neighbor's dildo. Okay. Well, uh, to be fair, it was a white dildo. It would have been different if it was black, right? Oh, yeah, totally different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get a good Fuck. Dude, three times? That's crazy. We'll come back in an hour. So where do you think they found the dildo? Like right over here? Oh gosh, you guys just seem so fancy. I was like, I'm a little, I'm a little underdressed for this. You guys look very gorgeous. Riz. Yeah, you wanna come be in it? Yeah, come come get in. So it's a kiss or slap freshman, high school edition. How old are you guys? 14. Okay, so perfect. yeah, perfect. Kiss or slap. <laughs> Please don't kiss me. Unless you want to. No. Light skin steel. They call me Rizza Holly. What do they call you? Big D Tyrone. Is that your name, Tyrone? My girlfriend cheated on me with a guy named Tyrone, so I was just making sure I wasn't on site right now. You're not recording her, are you? Yeah, I am. It's taxpayer building. It is legal for them yeah. to record in here. If it's bothering someone else, we would ask that you Yeah, exactly. Yeah, can you, can you not interrupt my recording, please? Thank you. Okay, now it's bothering me. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not in frame. No, no. F oh, First yeah. Amendment, freedom of speech. Oh, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Why you. don't you and I focus on what we're trying to get done here? I really showed her who's boss. Well, 
If you are disturbing the other customers, I oh, will I wasn't have disturbing. a reason to ask you to leave. Um, ma'am, I'm in charge here today. Excuse me. Who's shitting her Wheaties? Unreal. Uh, sir, Sorry. If you're using Sorry. I, I, it's, library, I will have to ask you to Zip it, lock it, put it in my pocket. I didn't even invoke that, man. I'm just trying to get a banger, dude. Okay, I might have invoked it a little bit. Could I have handled the situation a bit better? Yes. Did I get the last word in because I'm a petty piece of shit? Yes. Could I have handled it a lot more mature and just apologize? Yes, but am I? No. Yeah, you know what? I want to get the supervisor, actually. I want to speak to the supervisor, too. Come on over I'm here. going full Karen mode today. I need the supervisor, the CEO, the co-founder. I need her social security number, her name, her address. I, I didn't provoke it, but I definitely it, got the last word in, you know? I, mean, just, I'm just, just... I got that inner fucking dog in me. I'm a huge Andrew Tate listener, so I don't want no woman talking to me like that. I just needed to borrow a computer, and she really hurt my feelings. She's getting yeah. a computer for you, like, not, so... Well, no, 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 the other girl, she really hurt my feelings. I, I said, I, I was filming, and she said, she said, shut the fuck up, you a munch. I don't even know what that means. I spice this, I spice that. I just need a print. It's all right, though, maybe I am a munch. All right, boys, step one to take down a Karen in the library. We need to put her in her place. Whether that means we grab the Guinness Book of World Records and chuck it at her dome, or just, you know, fucking shoot a little one-liners towards her. All right, step two, after we hit her in the head with a Guinness World Record book of 2020, I spice emo. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Step three. Print. Step four. Throw another book at her. <laughs> what is he doing? Um, oh, I was just making sure he's okay. Yeah, dude, come be in the video. Do the ice spice dance though. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. <laughs> hey, you're in the video now, dude. Yeah. Looking clean, my boy. I subscribe to you. Hey, thanks, dog. Hey, happy Easter, man. Yeah, dude, take take it easy. Why did we get the quiet room, dude? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Um. I don't have anything playing. Oh, uh, sorry, I just wanted to say I thought you were really cute. And I haven't seen something uh, this attractive since my cousin. Since your cousin? Fuck, why'd I say that? I meant like, sorry. What is happening right I, I, I just, I don't, I was just wondering if I could get your number or something. You just said you're into your cousin. No, I haven't seen something as attractive as you since my cousin. But that's still, Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I just get nervous. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. To <laughs> Is there any way I could get your number, Snapchat, or you some? My oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. I'm Why so sorry. Oh god, it's so warm. I think I have chlamydia too. Oh god. Do you have a napkin, please? I don't can, I, can I just uh, a piece of paper, please? Just one. Bro, just one up. piece of paper, please, 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 please. A piece of paper. Please, just one piece of paper, please, 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 please. please. Put some pep in your step. Let's get a piece of paper. Oh, we gotta clean this. Oh. oh, it's still coming out. It's still coming out. I can't control it. I can't control it. Before I forget, though. What the fuck is happening right now? Before I forget. <laughs> Let me just get your Snapchat. <laughs> What's up? Ta, what's up? I haven't seen someone as pretty as you since my cousin. Me and the boys were fucking about to go crank some beer pong. I mean, what else are you gonna do on a Tuesday afternoon? Sit at home with your dick in your hand? <laughs> uh, Fuck, I guess I didn't work because you're a girl. I get nervous around pretty women. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Help me out. No. Oh, you want my number? Sure. So you're risen Actually, me right now? Yeah, sure. You want my number? <laughs> Fuck. What? I, I'm so sorry. Is that like a joke? I'm so sorry. I just dribbled a little. I really had to use the restroom. What do you, what the, is this a, is this a joke? LGBTQ civil rights. What is that? Um, the lesbian, gay, trans, bisexual group, queer. Like group. what? Um, we're Cr trying to protect their, our civil rights around the country because in 29 states you could still be fired, evicted, or denied services just for being part of the LGBTQ. You ever seen Spider-Man? Uh, which one? The one with Toby. Yes. I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> Beat it, bucko! A lot of you guys don't know this, but about three years ago, Ryan and I worked at the exact same fast food place. We worked at Firehouse Subs, and let's just say we literally did everything but actually work there. All we would do every time we clocked into work is show up, mess around. That being said, if you guys want some easy money, if you're 15 or 16 years old, the best way to do it is to literally get the same job as your friend, get the same shifts, and just mess around all throughout your shifts. But while Ryan and I were both working at Firehouse Subs, we always talked about one of two things, and that was A, blowing up on YouTube, and B, getting an apartment 
together. We haven't blown up on YouTube yet, but we are getting a place together. I want to say this now on the vlog because at the end of the lease with this apartment, my goal is to be able to say that we did it and we hit 1 million subscribers because now we have the place. All we need to do is to actually go out, chase our dreams, secure that 1 million subscribers, which we're working hard for. As you guys know, last year our channel was doing amazing. That was when Tanner and I were just constantly filming every day, but the issue was last year when Tanner and I started seeing a lot of success on the YouTube when we started seeing the money and the subscribers and the views, each video was just doing better and better and better. Last year, when we should have been going full throttle, we decided to pull back and just party, hang out with girls, get drunk, blackout, repeat. And let me say, that is not gonna happen again. I'm more motivated than ever. The only issue is right now is just honestly money. If you guys have any money and you're looking for some nice back to school apparel, we just dropped a whole bunch of new apparel up on the site. Even Ross Creations has been repping it a lot lately. So if you guys wanna be matching with Ross and I, feel free to grab one. And if you guys don't have any money, don't worry about it. One great way you can support us is just by liking the video, sharing it on your story, subscribing. We're trying to hit that million. That's gonna motivate us more than ever. Seeing the likes and comments and the positivity that you guys leave on our videos motivates us more than you guys will ever know. Anyway, with that being said, right now we're on the way to Ikea. Since we move into our new place in about four days, we gotta pick up some furniture. I'm actually, this is gonna be the one time in my life that I'm actually going to Ikea to shop and I'm not going there to just mess around. I'm really hoping we're not gonna get kicked out. We've had quite the experiences at Ikea, but we'll see. You know that gets a little challenging at times. Lord help us all. <laughs> Do you imagine it's like a family of four <laughs> outside of this? Oh no. Sorry about that, wrong people. Sorry about that, wrong people. We thought you were our friends. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, we weren't flipping you off. We're... Okay. Well, well I'm, I'm on camera. This yeah, is a big deal here. We're filming a, we're filming a little... Is that a camera? Or we're filming a YouTube video. We're getting... We're getting new apartments, we're here, we're shopping. Oh, you are? Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's a big you're, deal. You're setting up your apartment. Yeah, but we like playing this game called Elevator Roulette. So every time you're at an elevator, or every time you're inside of an elevator, you just hold up your middle fingers, because you don't know who's on the opposite side of it, you know? Oh, yeah. so you gave me the right to feel Well, we didn't know. You're very beautiful, by the way. Oh, okay. Lucky man, how'd you score a guy like this? You have amazing eyebrows, oh, by the yeah. way. I do? Yeah, oh, you do them yourself, or? Yep, I do. Oh yeah? You should do mine sometime. <laughs> Yo, shout out Nick. If you guys remember in our Vegas video while we were at the Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight, I said what's up to that YouTuber Nick and I told him to wingman me with his best friend Katie because Katie Sigmund, like, she's a sexy girl, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted him to wingman me with her at first. But I've been watching his videos lately and he always does this thing called the eyebrow line and he claims it never fails. But I don't know if it worked there or if it failed there. I'm not too sure. Maybe I did it wrong, but I, I feel like it worked. She was looking at me a little, a little too long, if you know what I'm saying. We gotta make shopping fun somehow. Shopping for an apartment is one of the most boring things you could possibly do so i'm not trying to be a degenerate here i'm not trying to make anyone's work harder than what it needs to be i see all the comments of everyone be like well you gotta make their job harder than what it needs to be but i can't believe we got in a two-car pileup last week both of our legs are are in shambles <laughs> dude my legs hurt so bad thank god for these wheelchairs why? Because I feel like the cops are gonna come. So you For what? What did we do? Like, you guys aren't telling us anything that we've done. You've gone up the escalator. Well, how are we supposed was there any signs? Like, how else are we supposed to go up? You guys are just kicking us out because you think, like, oh, we're just trying to make a joke here. We actually haven't. I could show you the leasing agreement in a week that we gotta move in. So, why are you guys kicking us out? You just. You guys need to leave. For what reason? You guys rode up an escalator. No, we didn't. You didn't ride up. You rode up the escalator. No. We sat. Positive, he might be filming me right now. I don't think he's filming you. Unbelievable with you guys. You look like Elon Musk, but not, not in a good way. You look like the mean version of Elon Musk, like the not nice one. I got floaters in my eyeball, coasters by the shot glass, smoking let my mind fall.